it's usually by this time of the year, most people in the desert southwest are anticipating cooler temperatures. But we all know that the heat will linger for a few more weeks. Bad news for us, but good news if you're a mosquito. They thrive in this environment. But our vector control experts have some information to help you fight the bite. Today we'll be talking about uh, the 80s Egypti mosquito and how you can be your own hero just by following a few simple rules and keeping the mantra tip and toss in your, in your mind at all times. 80s Egypti only needs about a cap full of water to breathe. So take a few minutes every, every week to go throughout your yard and get rid of anything that, that can or will hold water. Containers such as uh, buckets, planters, uh, water buckets, uh, the plates underneath your uh, potted plants. Uh, pet bowls are a really big uh, mosquito breeder for them. They just jet that laser egg right at the water line on the side of the container. As that water is used or evaporates, that egg dries out. And that egg can stay dry for up to a year. So even though you don't think you've got any mosquitoes in your backyard, we can get a monsoon season or maybe your sprinklers come on. They'll fill those containers back up and then 80s Jepti will, will then start breeding in those containers. To keep them out of your house, you want to go ahead and make sure you got screens in all your windows. Um, use air conditioning as much as possible, which in Yuma is easy to do. Make sure you go through, you don't have any water vases with standing water in them, um, like your flower vases, uh, Lucky Bamboo. All, again, also people put the plates underneath their potted plants inside, make sure those aren't holding water for more than a couple days. If they are, you need to go ahead and wash those out. Um, we've seen them in, um, in back bathrooms and um, sinks and toilets that people don't use regularly. They go through out there once, twice a week, they go ahead and flush the toilet, make sure it's got water in it. We haven't found Aegis Jepti in sort of a pool because it's a container breeder, but there are other mosquitoes out there, such as our Culex species that we have in the area. Um, that love unkept swimming pools. So keep your pool chlorinated and working properly and you won't have that problem. If you notice a green pool in your neighborhood, please don't hesitate to give us a call. We'll go out, we'll talk to the homeowner and work with them to get, to get it treated or drained or, or back in operation. Well, we are um, aggressively trapping four 80s Egypti throughout our community. Uh, when we do find 80s Egypti in a neighborhood, we then go ahead, we'll go door to door and we'll set out these um, little pamphlets. And it got full of information just to let the homeowner know what they need to do and what they, they can do to keep themselves safe and go throughout their yard. It's got a little checklist in the back. It's also got on the back why we were here and let you know that we did find 80s Egypti in the neighborhood. It's just a heads up to keep you guys informed and hopefully keep you safer. If you'd like any more information on any mosquitoes, give us a call at the Yuma County Health Department. It's 317-4584. Uh, Remember to follow Vector Control's suggestions to help keep yourself and your family safe from mosquitoes this summer.